Hello from the Office of Admissions at the College of Coastal Georgia. We're here today to talk to you about the admissions process and we want to start out by letting you know that um, we are accepting free applications between now and our application deadline of August 5th. So go online and apply as soon as you can for fall 2019. Um, we're going to start out by giving our introductions. My name is Kimberly Burgess. I have worked for the College of Coastal Georgia for six years. I'm an admissions counselor and I work with our adult learners, transfer students, and military students. Hi, I'm Mandy. I'm one of the freshman counselors here. We do have different freshman counselors depending on different regions in Georgia. I get to work with South Georgia students, which are the best. I am from Blackshear, Georgia, which the three of you that have heard of it. No. <laughs> uh, I also get to work with out-of-state students, which for travel season is a little hectic, uh, but it's really exciting. Uh, we also travel a lot in Florida, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama. We do offer border waiver for those states, uh, so students can attend for the in-state tuition, which in the state of Georgia is very, very affordable. Just keep that in mind. Um, but want to go ahead and just start talking about the application? Yeah, so the first thing we want to talk to you about is how to apply to the College of Coastal Georgia. And so Mandy's going to go over that process a little bit. and. Um, answer any questions you have. So feel free as we're going through this process, if something comes up and you want more information, just type a question to us and we'll answer live questions. So the application, again, we're doing free applications from now all the way through August 5th. Here at the College of Coastal Georgia, we do rolling admissions. So once we have the application and all the admissions paperwork that we need, you can get an admissions decision. So it's really imperative not only to get that application, get those transcripts and test scores in so we can go ahead and review you. Uh, we also have our spring application open, uh, spring 2020. I know it seems really far off, uh, but if you're thinking of transferring in maybe January, you can go ahead and use that free application month that we're doing, kind of get a jump start uh, so you're not kind of rushing around in December. Uh, so our application is hosted through Georgia Futures. If you already have, uh, you know, username, password, and everything, just need to log in there and then search for our application. If you don't, it's completely free to uh, create your username. And all of the state colleges in Georgia do use Georgia Future. So if you are interested in coming to us or if you're transferring from another institution, you may already have a Georgia Futures account that you can use for our application. So yeah, that's, that's great information. We're gonna talk to you a little bit about the admissions requirements based upon your student type. And so we're gonna start with freshmen. So we do need your high school transcript. It does need to be sent officially, so you need to contact your school counselor. Luckily, we're now at the part of summer where they are back in school. Uh, so you can contact, get that final high school transcript to us if you're interested in for, for fall, if you're interested in spring or for next fall, we can use your current high school transcript. We also need test scores, either SAT or ACT test scores, and those need to be sent through College Board or on your official transcript. Yeah, and so for transfer students, it's a little different. Um, we have two pathways for transfer students. Um, freshman transfer um, admissions, which is for students who have below 30 credit hours of transferable coursework. Um, for those students, you'd have to supply a copy of your college transcripts, um, as well as a copy of your high school credentials, so a high school transcript and test scores if applicable. If you've been, it's been over five years since you've graduated high school and you have some college credit and want to transfer here, you do not have to supply SAT or ACT scores. We actually waive that requirement for you. So our second pathway for transfer admissions is through the traditional transfer pathway. And that's for students who have over um, 29 hours, so 30 hours or more. All you have to supply is an application for admissions and then copies of transcripts from every institution that you've attended. And so one of the questions that I get a lot from transfer students is, um, do you accept all of my credit? and does my credit ever expire? So I'm here to tell you that undergraduate credit never expires. So at the College of Coastal Georgia, we do um, a true complete evaluation of all your credit, whether you took a course a year ago or 20 years ago, we do evaluate all of your credit and try to utilize all of your transfer credit and apply it to your degree. So that free application week is not just for transfers and freshmen, it's also for dual enrollment students. Um, so for those slightly different requirements, we do need an application from you and we of course need your current high school transcript just to see if you meet our GPA minimums. Uh, we do need national test scores, either SAT, ACT, but we also use the Accuplacer here. So once you have applied, you can actually contact our testing service and you can schedule to take the Accuplacer here on campus if you're not quite ready to take one of those national tests. Yeah, and so um, I was a dual enrollment student and absolutely loved it. I was telling Mandy today it was the best decision I ever made. So if you're thinking about 
um, exploring the dual enrollment options, I highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, we do have a dual enrollment counselor, Shane Apps, here in our office that would be more than happy to sit down with you and go over um, the opportunity that your child may have to go through that program. Um, but I want to talk a little bit to my non-traditional students, maybe that you've never been to college, um, you're 24 years of age or older, and you're just thinking about going back to college. I would be your admissions counselor. So hello, nice, nice to meet you. Um, and also my returning students. So if you've attended the College Coastal Georgia before and you're thinking about coming back, um, go ahead and fill out that application. So for my non-traditional students, I need just an application for admissions and then your high school transcripts or GED scores. And then guess what I didn't mention, Mandy? We don't require the college placement test for admissions. We use it as an advisement tool here at the College of Coastal Georgia. So don't stress about taking a test. Um, just apply to the college and have your high school credentials sent, sent in to us. Um, I do take appointments, so my information I'll share with you later at the end of this. Um, you can email me or call me to make an appointment if you just want to talk about college and what that means to go back to school. For my returning students, um, go ahead, reapply, use that fee waiver option, and then um, we can review you. We have over 70 different programs now, so whether you attended a year ago or 15 years ago, we have so many court, um, degree options for you to take advantage of. I'd like to sit down with you and just kind of talk a little bit more about what we have to offer. Um, if you're a returning student and you've attended another college or university since attending the College of Coastal Georgia, we will need those transcripts and we can do a review to see what credit we can apply to your record. So if you not attended college anywhere else, just reapply and fill out the general application. If you have attended elsewhere, then make sure we get those transcripts in addition to a new application. So once you've applied, no matter what your student type is, we do have a feature here called Check Admission Status. It does take one full business day, so if you apply on a Friday or a weekend, you're gonna have to wait till Monday afternoon. I know the wait can kind of be hard, but that Check Admission Status is your 24, 24 hour day checklist to see not only your status with the college, but what we've received and what we're waiting on. So for traditional freshmen, you can see your application, you can see we've received your test scores, maybe we're waiting on that transcript, so you know to go ahead and call your counselor and get that to us as soon as possible. So that check admission status also shows it's tied to our system that we use to admit students. So as soon as you're accepted, if you're accepted at 3.30, at 3.31, go to your check admission status, it shows up on there. So it's really great to track both your progress through admissions and also to acceptance. Yeah, that's the awesome thing about it. I tell all my students, you know, we do send out acceptance emails about 24 hours after you're accepted, but if you want to see it in real time, just go to our website. It's super easy. It is on our admissions website, but you can go straight to um, ccga.edu slash check status, and it'll take you directly to our check status page. So if you're out there and you've applied and you haven't got accepted yet and you want to see what your status is, um, definitely check that or give us a call and we'd be more than happy to walk you through what else you need to complete um, for fall. So obviously admissions is applications and transcripts and everything, but it's also about visits. So the Office of Admissions, we run a lot of different visit events depending on the types of students and different events throughout the year. So daily visits are most popular. Um, so throughout the school year, both the fall and spring, we do daily visits in the afternoon and then on Friday we do have morning and afternoon. Because of our location, people are a little bit more likely to come by for a weekend visit. So they do come by for Friday, and then you can kind of stay, see a little bit more of the Gold Niles, and really get an experience of what Brunswick is like. Um, so those daily visits, you can just schedule those online. Um, we'll send you a confirmation email and a map of where to meet. Um, full campus visit, you can see academic spaces, learn about services for students, and you also get to tour housing, which is what the parents don't like as much, but the kids, that's all they're here for. Once they see the dorm, that's all they want to see. Uh, so you do get to see a real dorm. Uh, we will say we do have 100% occupancy for our freshman dorm, so you will be seeing an actual dorm. We don't have a show dorm. We don't have a pretty, clean, you know, show dorm. It's somebody's living here, but it lets you really see how students utilize the space, and it's, I mean, that's the part that kids always remember. They remember nothing else. They remember, oh, I saw a dorm, and they had a cool bean bag, and it was everything, so. Those daily visits are very special and we, you know, we enjoy them and you can still meet with an admissions counselor afterwards. Uh, but we also have a slightly more in-depth thing. It's called Destination Coastal. We do two events in the fall, two events in the spring. And you can go ahead and visit, um, go to ccga.edu slash visit and see the dates for that. Destination Coastal is a little bit more in-depth. We do have academic presentations, so you'll have an opportunity, both students and parents, to listen to professors and also ask them questions, not just about programs, but about 
What happens after the four years? What are internships look like? What does an entry level job with a coastal ecology degree even mean? Uh, so really talking to the professors. We are a small campus. We're a community. Uh, we you know talk about it a lot, but Destination Coastal really lets you see what that community looks like, both the academic spaces, physical spaces. You still get to see the tour. You still get to walk around. Uh, but it really gives you a space to sort of talk back and ask those questions that you may have been thinking about. Uh, so again, our, our first one is coming up in October, October 19th, and then we've got another one in November, November 16th. And you can start signing up for those next month. So we're almost in the fall semester. Yeah, Destination Coastals are my favorite visit day um, because I just feel like it's so comprehensive and you really get an opportunity to see campus but also learn about academics. And we have amazing academic programs and you get the classroom experience. So that's yeah, definitely my favorite. Um, we also have some new events that we're going to be hosting in the fall. We're going to have Transfer Tuesdays. Um, where my transfer students are going to be able to come to campus on designated days and see exactly um, what it's what credits will transfer because we will do an on-the-spot evaluation of your credits and um, and let you know exactly um, what's the best program for you and I know for my transfer students that's just such a, a big deal they're like I was a major at one institution but I don't know if I want to be this major here so how do my credits transfer and you'll know that with coming to the transfer Tuesday um, events and those are going to be scheduled throughout the fall and they are published on our visit day page so you can just get an in-depth kind of description and, and the dates so you can start planning for that. Um, we also have dual enrollment information sessions so I kind of wanted to highlight those. Um, those dates are also published so if you have students that are thinking about dual enrollment or you're hearing it in your mom clubs and you're thinking you know my student might want to do that well come to one of our information sessions and you'll find out what a great experience dual enrollment is um, dual enrollment is free here at the college of coastal georgia and credits transfer to every other university system of georgia institution and so it's super um, important to, to make a really good selection when you're choosing a dual enrollment option for your students so definitely look out for those um, those info sessions mm -hmm. Um, so I want to move forward um, here at the College Coast Georgia one of the things that we do is we talk about the comprehensive enrollment process and so one of the things I want to highlight for you um, if you are um, going to be applying for the fall semester or you're, you're a rising senior so you're going to be coming in for um, fall 2020 um, we want to encourage you to file your financial aid application and it's also known as the um, FAFSA the free financial aid application um, that is a free application for student aid and so you can apply for that complete it um, send it to our institution and we can evaluate you to see what um, free financial aid that maybe you may be um, eligible for but for our new students that are coming in for fall of 2020 um, you can file that as early as October so as admissions counselors we also we always encourage you to file your financial aid application as soon as you can so if you're just thinking about possibly coastal as an option or any school for that matter we encourage you to file that financial aid application online um, for free um, October for fall of 2020 but right now if you're thinking about attending for fall or spring of this year and again that FAFSA that's kind of just general information because you can actually send your FAFSA to up to 10 different schools mm -hmm. so especially once it opens in October if you're still in that kind of exploring phase you're looking at different schools go ahead and fill that out because also for our students here in Georgia filling out your FAFSA is also filling out your HOPE application and I know all, all the students that I talk to, Hope, Zell Miller, that's a big deal when they're talking about staying in state. Uh, so going ahead and getting that FAFSA taken care of can be just one last thing off your plate. Mm -hmm. And so the next thing we talk to students about is housing. So first of all, for my students that are coming for fall of 19, we still have housing available. So once you are admitted, you can fill out a housing application and stay on campus or we do have some off-campus options for my transfer students so definitely let us know if you're interested in that um, or visit our, our residence life page online for that but um, how it works for rising seniors and you're going through the application process once you are accepted to the College of Coastal Georgia we open our housing application um, in your fall semester so in your fall semester of your senior year you get accepted you can apply for housing later on in that semester and have priority um, options for, for housing so that's super important um, and so we're going to be talking to you a little bit about that if you apply here at the college on taking that next step and applying for housing through the process 
And then finally, um, orientation. So for all my freshmen out there that are coming for fall of 19 and you have not signed up for orientation, guess what, you need to because our final orientation date is coming up August 15th. So you wanna do it as soon as possible. Um, and all um, freshmen, incoming traditional age freshmen are required to attend orientation. So um, we'll be reaching out to you later this week with an email if you have been accepted for fall 19. If you've not been accepted, Make sure you work on getting accepted so you don't miss out on that orientation day because it's super important. Um, we go over um, your academic schedule, financial aid, um, we solidify housing so you can see kind of um, what rooms are available. So orientation is like super important so make sure you take care of that. Um, for my rising seniors um, for next year, that will also be part of um, the enrollment process that will guide you through at that point. So again, freshmen haven't signed up for orientation for fall 19, make sure you do it. So obviously we have freshman orientation. Uh, we're also coming up on one of our biggest events yes. of the fall, which is move-in day. So the Office of Admissions, uh, we usually work the check-in for move-in mm -hmm. day. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, it is on a Saturday in South Georgia, gonna be a little warm. Uh, but move-in day is actually a really fun day on mm -hmm. campus. Um, the kids are always very high energy, parents a little more nervous depending on if it's the first one or if it's the last one and they finally get their house back. You can definitely tell that energy difference. Um, but it's really fun, especially for us um, as a freshman counselor. I work with some of this, these students for multiple years. I can see a student as a junior mm -hmm. work all the way through the admissions process and now they're finally coming to college. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, yay, my job is done. You got here. The baby bird has landed. Um, but housing is also, move-in day is a really fun way to see the community. So we do have Blue Crew leaders. Uh, they'll help you move in. Uh, we also have the community of Brunswick. So we always have some of our community leaders, local churches, we'll do a cookout. Um, they do that completely free. They just want to welcome kids to Brunswick. You know, we always talk about our location. We are at the beach. We're very close to the beach. We have great weather. Uh, but we're also a small town, which for me, that was really important because I wanted to feel a part of a community, um, not just on campus, but in a town itself. And Brunswick is a really great small town kind of community. You really feel comforted. Um, a majority of our students actually, most of our students are from Georgia, but we actually have a large population of our students come from the metro Atlanta area. Part of that is they want to be at the beach, but part of that is they're looking for something different. They want that small town, they want a smaller kind of community to see that. And yeah. it's really special. Move in super special because for, for me, I, I know I give out a lot of hugs to parents <laughs> and to students. Like we went through this entire process and it's super emotional and super exciting and um, just, just such an awesome day. But here at the College of Coastal Georgia, one thing that we do with our freshmen that we, we want to, to brag about is we do a comprehensive three-phase kind of orientation to Coastal. So you have your standard orientation, you got move in, right? And, and then we put our, our traditional freshmen um, through anchor days. And anchor days is really important because we take them and put them right into our student life component of our campus and, and help them feel accustomed to campus and get acclimated to that and feel what it's like to be a Mariner because being a Mariner is super special. Mm -hmm. They get to meet their classmates, meet the new incoming freshmen, people that are just like them and that made the college decision just like they did to be a Mariner. And so that day is, is super, super intense but exciting at the same time. Um, and so that, that I really like that because I like coming to mm -hmm. campus and seeing all the, the new freshmen going to anchor days and I'm like, yay, Mariner. So, and then we have a week of welcome. Yes which is super awesome. So Go ahead. I'm about to say, week of welcome, uh, as you know, now that I was a student here at College of Coastal Georgia, so I am the only member of the admissions staff that got to be the student, and now I have to help the students. It's a little less free food, I'm gonna admit. Uh, but week of welcome is one of those events that even as a staff member, we still get to participate in. We do, we have tents all over campus the whole week, helping students find the building, you know, getting around campus can be a little mm -hmm. difficult, but also just encouraging them, just kind of asking how things are going, if they need any help. Uh, also, a lot of our clubs and organizations do special events, and so, you know, we call it the Week of Welcome because we really want you not just to kind of figure out where the buildings are, but to feel welcome. We want you to kind of start from the very first day feeling a part of some place, and so that's something that we do both the fall and spring semester, the whole first week of classes, and it's, I, I still like it, even though it's a little less fun on the other side of the table where you don't get the free things, but it's still nice to, you know, talk to the students and mm -hmm. just, you know, get to meet them or see them again and be like, yay, I remember you. I don't remember your name. I remember your face. Yeah, so we have thrown a lot at you today, and we really hope that you have some questions for us. Um, and so we come in. Uh, the first question is, how would you describe the students at the College Coastal Georgia, and where do most of them come from? 
Uh, how would I describe them? <laughs> Again, since I went here, awesome. They're great. They're the best mm -hmm. students. Um, where they come from, actually pretty surprising. Again, we are a state college, so majority of our students do come from the state of Georgia, the best state. Um, but again, a lot of our students are coming from Fulton County, um, Cobb County, a lot of that Metro Atlanta students, um, mm -hmm. obviously our local students, uh, kids from Brunswick, the kids who know the community already, they want to stay closer to home. Um, but again, I work with out-of-state students, border states are the majority, the biggest population outside of Georgia is going to be Florida. They're about an hour away. They're our, our neighbors. We welcome our Florida. I'm from Florida. <laughs> we welcome yes. our Florida residents. Uh, but we actually have students from 33 different states. So that's our border states, but that's also a little further north, uh, all the way from California to Massachusetts. A lot of different students because of those programs where we're located. If you want to study coastal ecology, hospitality, mm -hmm. tourism management, we also have students from 20 different countries. Uh, so a lot of times when we say, you know, we're a small campus and we're a small community, we don't mean that we're a closed off community. We mean that it's small for a reason. Mm -hmm. We want to meet everybody, but we want to meet different kinds of people. So we do both study abroad programs and we also have a lot of international students that come study with us. All right, so next question is, um, can you talk about the most popular majors at College of Coastal Georgia? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll take that one because I get that question all the time. So um, obviously our business, ma our um, school of business and public management, but also um, our nursing program, our education program, criminal justice, psychology, and really the reason those are our most popular is because what they offer students. So one thing that I just absolutely love to tell students is if you're going to come here for your four years, your bachelor's, um, degree you want to know that there are academic options and opportunities for you and so all of our bachelor's degree have guaranteed internship opportunities so um, and our school of business does a great job with that um, our criminal justice department um, we are just down the road from from our federal law enforcement training center which is a branch of our homeland security department here in the united states and so you cannot have a better opportunity than to work for homeland security honestly while you're an undergrad student um, and then we have the number one bachelor's of science in nursing program and our education program has a hundred percent um, employability after post-graduation so it, it's too very competitive and those are cohorted programs they start every fall semester but our incoming students you know you can work on prereqs to get into those programs but those are our most popular majors um, how do I know who my admissions counselor okay. is well, if you're very loud and troublesome, her name is Kimberly. And <laughs> no, again, when I talked about the freshman counselors, we do break it down by region. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the only person you can talk to. That just means that's the person that you're probably going to see in your high school doing visits, things like that. So we do break it down. If you're a dual enrollment student, uh, Shane Apps is the one who works with local students, dual enrollment. He knows a little bit more about the process, but that's not to say if you call and you get me and you say dual enrollment, I don't immediately hang up the phone. I do understand what they need and all of those requirements. We are a smaller college, we're a smaller admissions team. If you call, you're gonna get an admissions counselor on the phone nine times out of 10. Uh, so you're gonna be talking to an admissions counselor. We answer the general emails as well. Um, so we have it broken down by like freshman and transfer, but if you have transfer questions, questions, I can answer those. If you're wondering if your credits are going to transfer, you don't have to talk to Kimberly. You can talk to other people in the office because we do kind of wear a lot of hats around here. So yeah. it's kind of, you do have your counselor, but you, anyone you reach out to can really kind of get you where you're going. Yeah. And, and when you come on a campus visit, meet your counselor. You know, we're the people that are assigned to, to, um, your territory are also the people that are going to be making your admissions decisions, are going to be reading your file, are going to be helping you through this process. So that's the great thing about us is you can start building relationships with the people that matter and going to guide you through it. Does the College of Coastal Georgia attend any college fairs throughout the year? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. We are an active participant in the Georgia Probe Fair as well as national fairs like NACAC. Um, so we would highly recommend that you keep your eyes and your ears open for when um, Georgia Probe is coming to your area. Um, we will also communicate and reach out to you um, if you've expressed interest to, to Coastal Georgia so you'll know where we're at so you can come and, and visit our table and get some more information. But yeah, we do highly recommend that. And our national fairs take us, you know, they take us to Atlanta, Jacksonville, Birmingham, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Greenville, uh, Orlando, uh, we're up in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it can be kind of busy. Uh, fall season is also known as our travel season, so more than likely if you're interested in the college, and especially if you are close by, I would really reach out to your counselor, 
see about that probe schedule or just reach out to us. Just send an email, say, hey, I'm at this high school. Is there any way that you're going to be in the area? And we can let you know when we're going to be close by. Mm -hmm. Can a student send more than one set of test scores or transcripts? Absolutely, and we encourage that. So um, one thing about the admissions process that I think a lot of students feel is they feel this pressure to present the best admissions packet as they possibly can, which is the ultimate goal. So if you are one of those students that are going to be taking the SAT or the ACT multiple times, send us your scores because that is going to help us make the best decision for you in terms of reviewing your file and ultimately building that first semester schedule for you. So um, we do super score. So a lot of um, families are like, what, does, what is that? What does that mean? Do you do it? Um, and what super score does is if you take the SAT multiple times and first attempt you do well in part A and the second attempt you do well in part B, we can take those attempts and combine them to create the best possible package for you for an admissions package. Same goes with ACT. Mm -hmm. um, we don't prefer whether you take SAT or ACT. You can take either one. Um, we just do recommend that you take that test um, during your fall semester if you can because that's going to allow you to move through the admissions process in general a lot quick, uh, quicker. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, send that. Um, we do recommend that if your GPA changes, like if you apply in the fall and you send in your, your transcript that has your junior grades on it, but you want us to count your first semester of your senior year, go ahead and send us um, a new transcript at the end of that first semester because we want to recalculate that GPA and we are looking at your academic based courses. That's really important. So we're so glad you got the A in weightlifting. That's great guys. But we really want to see what you do in your academic courses like your Englishes and your maths and things like that. So make sure you really focus on those as you, as you move into that process. But yes, send us everything you got and, um, and we'll evaluate it completely and we will reevaluate you. So if we make an admissions decision but yet you have better scores and want us to reevaluate your placement in our freshman class, then send us those new scores and we'll make it happen. And we also have students that will take the test for the first time in the fall, do very well, and then once they've started getting those acceptance, the pressure's kind of off and they may take it again in the spring and get much higher scores. Mm -hmm. We still encourage students to send them in, uh, but in that part, it'll just help you for scholarships. So we do mm -hmm. give a lot of institutional scholarships both freshmen, also returning students, also transfer students. We have a few different kind of pools that you can fall into, but for freshman students, we're looking at that unweighted academic GPA and your highest test score. So again, we'll super score for that. So even if you you know, had the test scores to get in, you're good for admissions, but you wanna be a little more competitive for scholarships, you can take the test again, no pressure, you're still admitted, um, but it can kind of be a better way, especially for seniors who wanna be a little bit more competitive for those foundation scholarships. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. That's really a good point. What are your uh, deadlines? Okay, important deadline coming up, fall <laughs> 19. Um, is August 5th, um, so make sure you get those, um, all those applications in if you're thinking about applying or been thinking about it but just haven't you know, made that commitment to fill out that application, get it in by August 5th. And then for spring, it is January 2nd. Yes. January 2nd of 2020. So um, you can apply now um, both for fall 19 and spring and utilize our free application fee waiver. Um, again, that is between now and August 5th for both of those semesters. And we will be opening the fall 2020 application on September 1st for all of our rising seniors. You can fill it out then and I encourage you to do so. Take advantage, be the early bird, get, get that worm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we have time for one more question. Uh, what is one tip for rising seniors about how to choose a college? You know, wait, I just want to say Mandy's got the perfect response for this, so <laughs> go ahead. Um, I think the main thing that I see with a lot of seniors, whether they're local, whether they're from out of state, one kind of unifying thing is that admissions is scary. Um, the admissions process, they kind of, a lot of times they get nervous about it and they kind of procrastinate and they wait and they wait. And if I ever hear you, my pet peeve is when you call and you're like, what's the last day that I can blank? No, we're not talking about the last day. No, no, no. Don't get that out of your mind. Because uh, admissions is a process. You don't have to do it all in one day. You don't have to get everything done by 10 o'clock or you're not going to get admitted. This is a process, especially for a senior year. You should be thinking about it in different stages. So, you know, the first part is just exploring. Exploring majors, exploring colleges. Go on more than one campus visit because it's not just where you're learning. It's not physically sitting in the classroom. It's where you're living. You need to be able to walk around and say, I can live here, I feel comfortable here, this is someplace I want to be, and you can only know that if you kind of compare and contrast, you know, do the pro con, seek a few different places. Uh, so really utilize those senior visit days. Um, a lot of students 
don't know that those are available. Those are days that your school will let you visit places. You just have to have, I swear, I'll give you the note. Just remind me. I'll give you the notarized. It'll have the letterhead. It'll have everything <laughs> on it. Come visit us. Uh, so explore. Really apply to more than one college. Do the application process, especially through Georgia Futures. You already have the username. You already have the account. Go ahead and apply to a few different places just so you have your options open. Then you really need to start, once you've got those acceptance, once you've already submitted what you need, then make the decision. Then start winnowing it down, and then you can move into the next step, which is housing, which is orientation, which mm -hmm. is doing all of that fun stuff moving into the summer. You don't need to do everything all at once. Breaking it down is probably the number one thing that seniors should be doing. And you know, don't feel like if you go to a college fair, I have to talk to, this is my one college. It's a college fair for a reason. Like there's 50 tables, talk to 50 people. Even if you just say, hey, I've never even heard of your school, what's going on? Just talk to somebody. Like it's okay to have a conversation. You're not, just because you talk to me does not mean I'm gonna be calling you 24 seven and you have to come here. Just have a conversation. College should be fun. Like just, you know, a breath every once in a while is all I wanna, I see these little 18 year olds and they're pulling their hair out. I'm like, this is when life is fun. Please, please have more fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I tell students, and I, and I tell parents this, but for students, I'm speaking to you. When you are taking that campus visit and you're walking that campus, make sure that you can see yourself being a student at that institution. Mm -hmm. You know, see yourself walking to class, see yourself interacting with people in, in the um, cafeteria or, or Mariner's Gallery, like we, we call it here. You know, really put yourself in that setting and, and, and just enjoy the experience. Yeah. Again, you know, we do find a lot of students that set really high expectations for themselves and get really stressed out, but take it step by step and understand at the College of Coastal Georgia, we help you through that entire process. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's, that's what's really good. And if you don't understand something through the process or don't know what a deadline is, ask, you know, we'll help you and we'll walk you through that process. Okay, so with that, we are going to say bye now, and um, it's been a pleasure sharing all of this with you. Um, again, um, some tips to take away from this conversation. Um, if you're wanting to get in for fall 19, now's the perfect time to apply. Um, we are waiving application fees, so when you go to submit that application, just select fee waiver and hit submit, and we'll honor that fee waiver. You can apply now um, for August 19, or, or fall 19, and spring 2020, and then our um, fall 2020 application it will open September 1st so just make sure you don't miss that and look for us on the road guys we'll be out visiting your high school very soon bye